I mean, Kaysen. Kaysen, are you telling me? Yes. Okay. Um, so, good afternoon. Today is October 27th, Thursday. It's 2.30 p.m. And we have our first debate between Sally and Zhang Yang. Sally is taking the affirmative position, and Zhang Yang is taking the negative position. The topic here, the question today is, should we leave um, the choice of whether or not to have plastic surgery up to the individual, or should this be regulated in some ways? Uh, Sally, you can start the timer, you have two minutes. They say, it's certainly there is no person that, uh, who can deny that the current of people's attitude about the plastic surgery turns toward the affirmative attitude, isn't it? We should accept this phenomena not as the momentary hypocrisy, but as a courage and defiant attitude for our happiness. Above all, the po good point of the plastic surgery is to give people uh, confidence and happiness of their life, as well as to recover physical defects. <coughs> By plastic surgery, People can interact and communicate with other people more effectively uh, by gaining confidence and also their success in that will rise too. Mm. In this way, isn't, isn't the plastic surgery uh, productive both to both, uh, for both our society and then individuals? Mm. According to a research conducted by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, almost 50% university students uh, among 2,035 students, they said that they, had, they already had the plastic surgery and they became to feel more happier than before after the surgery. Um, so, in this way, many people think plastic surgery is a positive way to find their second self. I think that the power of plastic surgery is, is like uh, shaking off the dust piled up in the rocking in the rocking treasure box. Because emanent and concealed BT can be expressed by plastic surgery. Thank you. Uh China, you have nine seconds. This is not a matter of individual choices. This is a serious social problem. A survey of women over 10 countries in Asia shows that 53 of all American women are considering having a plastic surgery, while 4% of Malaysians and 9% of Chinese are thinking about it. What is worse, only 1% of Korean women are satisfied with their appearance. Although Korea ranks the first in this matter, there is no research on actual, actual condition, no legal system to protect people suffering from side effects. Doctors say that people who chose plastic surgery undergo the same operation again. We should take action to inform people of how serious this problem is or sooner or later, the Korea will become sick. One evidence is that there are increasing number of medical mm -hmm. students who want to be plastic surgeons. However, for several years, other departments which deal with heart attack or cancer lack of applicants, which means... Thank you, okay. So, you have 30 seconds. Never mind, I'll keep it for you. Go on. Side effects don't happen only in the plastic surgery. Other medical operations also have the same and similar rate of these medical malpractices. Besides, only practice surgery doesn't make the wrong standard of beauty. The press has more responsibility about that uh, because they focused on the appearance of entertainers so much 
and cells have drugs about the wrong boom about the plastic surgery. When it comes to plastic surgery itself, it can contribute to both happy society and individual life. Thank you. It is too late to blame media only. Things have changed. Internet enables people to interact with media. Positive attitude toward plastic surgery is already widespread. Some entertainers confessed having plastic surgery, and then people praised their attitude rather than being disappointed or recognize this problem. That attitude is a problem. Thank you, John Young. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.